In this video, we want to look at how to start the virtual machine. Um, first thing I want to do is just look at the network adapter settings. So at the moment, we're using the bridge adapter on Ethernet number four. And if I go to my control panel, so from your control panel, you can have a quick look at your networking and sharing center. And from there, select the, the Ethernet 4 or whatever yours is connected to and select details. And this will give you the IP address, the IP4 IP address. So mine is 192.168.0.75. And I also have a DHCP server uh, 192.168.0.1. The reason for this is that the internal network uh, will need to assign an IP address to my virtual machine. So I'm going to close this and start the virtual machine. So let's close all of this. And to start, I'm just going to select the start icon. So I've selected the one I want to the, the VM that I want to start and I'm going to click on start icon and that will start the virtual machine. It does take a while from the first boot because it will assign an IP address. And so let me just move this a little bit to the top. So the first time it boots, it will try to assign an IP address from the DHCP server. And let me just bring this up a bit so you can see, you can see the VM starting. And as it's starting, you will see the red, the red line across the bottom of the screen. If I press escape, it gives me a bit more details for me to see what is actually happening. So here you can see the IP address that has been assigned. And now we, w we can enter the app's login username and password. So the first thing to do is to log in as root and then Oracle and then Apple manager, APPL MGR will also be asked for the passwords for each of these. So I'm going to log in as root enter and then it will ask me for a password. We type password it says it's a simple dictionary word just just for demo purposes so so that's the new password for user root so now for user oracle again enter a password that you can remember and then for APPL MGR the password as well And that will set up the demo database. So now the database has installed all the core areas. So now we want to we want to enter vision to configure the vision demo instance. So I'm just going to type in type vision, which is the one that we want to configure. Type vision and press enter. And that will copy all the scripts to the correct directories. And that's it, you've actually done the configuration. So before the first use of the application, the first thing we're going to do is um, start the server. And I'm just going to start the server service by typing service space EBS DB, which is our database. And we want to start. 
and that's just starting the database. So once the database is started, we can now log in as the Oracle user to enable the eBusiness Suite users who are typically used for the demos. And once that's done, um, I will go in and set that up for you to see. So I'm now going to log in as the Oracle user, SU Oracle. And I'm going to create a directory. So let's just list the directories first. That's the directories that I have in the Oracle users directory. So let's go into the base and see what we have there. That's all we've got. So I'm also going to create some empty directories so that our FNDC pass script will be able to generate log files um, in the current directory. So let's just do that. So we've logged in as Oracle. So I'm just going to go to the home directory. Let's list the files. CD Oracle. So I'm going to create the log file there. And let's list the files. So I can see my log directory. So what I'm going to do now is go to my log directory cd log and at the moment it's empty so this is where i want to i want to, gen to generate the log files in so the first thing i want to do is also i want to enable my sysadmin user and to do that slash slash u01 install u01 install apps scripts and I want to enable sysadmin sh So I want to enter a new password for sysadmin. Okay, so it must be eight characters or more. So you have to remember the password you've set. Next, I want to enable my demo users. So again, enable demo users. New password for demo users. Again, this will be the password for all the demo users in the system. And then you can also change the password for the product schemas. And to do that, you want to change the passwords. Again, in the scripts directory, you go to change db passwords 
sh and then it'll ask you for the password remember the password that you've selected and also the system password will be uh, changed as well so you can also configure the system configure the run file system by executing the auto config so the run addition that you need to do has to be done by using the Oracle user and I'm just going to do that right now so I'm just going to go to um, actually if I go to my so that's all the log files which have been generated so what I want to do now is run the auto config and I'm going to do that by running dot slash u01 install slash apps EBS apps dot env run oh, there should be a space so that's me running the file system so next I want to run auto config ad auto cfg sh apps password So let's try to access the web server from the command line. So I'm going to try that. Apps. HTTP apps dot example dot com eight thousand robots dot txt. So we can't connect to host. So let's start this server. Login as root. Service apps start. So we've restarted the server. So let's see if we can log in. So I'm going to log in as my Oracle user. And HTTPS. So let's try and ping the server. using the call command HTTP apps dot example dot com on 8000 robots dot txt right so there you go we've got a message back and that tells us that we should be able to connect to the server so in the next video we'll look at how to connect with the server and the list of all the different setups that we need to do on the client side 
Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.